So for today's video, I'm actually going to be talking about how to score a Chanel bag and I'm going to be going over four steps of how this is possible. And welcome back to my channel. My name's Stephanie here on YouTube and if you like luxury fashion lifestyle videos then you should definitely hit that subscribe button down below and hit that bell to get notified when I upload new videos. So I feel like there's probably a bunch of videos on YouTube about this for like Hermes bags like if you're trying to get like the Birkin or the Kelly but honestly it's kind of hard to score a Chanel bag as well like the classic double flap like the classic medium double flap or like the classic mini flap or even some of like the other styles like the Chanel 19 that aren't as big or as classic but they're still kind of hard to get your hands on so I just kind of want to share with you guys like my experience and like my overall thoughts of like how I think are the best ways to kind of like score those bags if like you feel like every time you go to the store they keep saying that they're sold out or just like come back so hopefully these are like helpful tips for you guys so I think one thing the first thing that I'm going to talk about is definitely buy something in the store first obviously so I feel like kind of like the same way they are with like Hermes they kind of just want to see if like you're a serious buyer obviously it's not as crazy as Hermes where you just have to buy the entire freaking store in order for the, your sales associate to give you a Birkin or like offer you one but for Chanel I definitely think like I mean it definitely is possible obviously these are just like again like my experiences and my thoughts of like how it's like a little bit easier for you to get that classic flap or any other bag that's like been out of stock for a while but I would definitely say just go to the store kind of like speak to everyone there and kind of just buy something in the store just so you have like yourself in the system too because obviously like in the long run that's just honestly just gonna help you out too because like everything will just be right then and there for them for you to just like easily get that process going I would definitely say buy something in the store so the second step I would say is definitely try to make friends with like a sales associate there so that's like another reason of like going into step one where you definitely want to buy something in the store just because then you can make that connection with an SA and it'll be a lot easier because a lot of the times they do like you they'll like give you your card and then you can actually get their number so you can like text them asking them if, like such and such item is in store or you know just like anything in general that you have like questions about for like some of the items that you might be interested in buying in the store so I definitely say try to make a connection with SA be as friendly as possible because like obviously they're not going to give it to someone who's been like really rude to them or like is not very personable I would just say like be over friendly be, like obviously just like be yourself be like super friendly and polite and I definitely think like it's pretty easy to like get a nice connection with an SA at Chanel especially if you go into that in-store experience so third thing I feel like these all like line perfectly together I would say is to call like the the line that they have online just because a lot of the times they can tell you about like other Chanel boutiques besides the one right at your home address that might have that certain item in stock. I feel like calling the Chanel customer service line is like a hit or a miss though because a lot of the times you could get someone who's like not the nicest and be like yeah that's like sold out sorry you're just gonna have to wait and like just go to the store or you could have like a different experience where they're actually like very friendly and like see that you've had like history in the past with Chanel and like sometimes they'll even ask you if you have like a personal essay at your local boutique. I feel like once they like, kind of see that and like you're a dedicated customer they're like oh okay like let me just like check our systems right now and see if like they have anything else. I feel like a big thing for me that I like saw that with was when I was trying to look for like those double CC earrings. I feel like they were sold out everywhere especially it was like the 2019 or like 2020 line so obviously since we were in like 
I think I was trying to get them around 2021. It was just like really hard to get your hands on. But the person that I talked to over the phone, she was super helpful and was just like, oh, there's actually a shipment coming in Vegas uh, to like their store there. So I can connect you with SA over there. So that was like so helpful. And the person from Vegas like obviously got like my personal cell phone number and was able to contact me letting me know when it's coming into the store exactly. And I ended up getting them and I was super excited. I was like, wow, I thought this was like just the hardest thing ever. I'm like, I was just never going to find these earrings and just had to come keep coming to the store and try to buy it there. But that was not the case. It just made it super easy for me. And yeah, so I would definitely say give that a try if like you feel like your SA doesn't have anything in store or you feel like you've gone to other boutiques and they don't have it there. So I would definitely just say like give the Chanel customer service line a buzz and yeah see if they can help you out with like other states that might have it so the fourth step that i have for you is definitely going to i kind of like already mentioned it before but going to other boutiques so obviously yeah you might have your one boutique that you go to all the time you would be surprised if you go to like a department store like neiman marcus where they have like their chanel boutique they like might not see as much traffic there so some of like the i don't know items that are like super popular at the time they might have like one or two left in their inventory i would definitely try that a shot i know like neiman marcus is one of them obviously sometimes like the bloomingdales have it it really just depends on like what state or like what city you're living in and then i know nordstrom some of them have it as well so i would just check those big department stores because you just never know and you could be really surprised by the inventory that they have there also it could be like another way of like you getting another contact from an SA. so now you have like two essays that you can contact if there's like a bag that you've like been dreaming of and it's just like so hard for you to get so yeah i would suggest that as well i guess like my experience with that is that i really wanted the chanel 19 bag and i felt like it was taking forever so then i just started like going to other boutiques and different department stores and obviously long story short my essay was the one who gave it to me first because it came into her shipment first but then i think like two weeks later the lady that i had gotten to contact at a neiman marcus she ended up texting me saying that the bag was there that was pretty cool it was like oh wow like if i had just waited a little bit longer or if it didn't work out with the bag that I got from the boutique for my SA, I would have had like a second chance of trying to get that bag, which I feel like is like unheard of. So that is definitely something I would say give a go and try out for yourself. With all these steps being said, I think the biggest thing that I would say is just to be patient. Unfortunately, if you're not a celebrity or like some influencer or I don't know, like a number one Chanel customer where like you literally buy something there every month obviously you're not going to be first priority you know the shipment if you're on like a waiting list they're gonna put the person who buys a lot more before you or i don't really know how it works but i feel like that is how it works i would just say like be patient i feel like for me which one is it that i got the duville tote the large shopping bag tote from chanel i thought i was like never gonna get that even though i felt so bad i wasn't like no <laughs> i'm gonna take that back and not say that but literally i felt like i was annoying my essay so it'd be like months that are passing by i'm like really is like the waiting list taking this long because i feel like i've been on other waiting list before and it was just like after a couple of months i've like finally heard back from her saying that it was an inventory but i feel like this was like four five six months and i like still hadn't heard from her i'm like there's no way but like there was you know just like not as much in production with those totes and they're slowly like making a newer one with the one that i actually wanted so i think that also was like the slowdown in the process but every time i texted her she was just like don't worry you're still on the waiting list like it's coming it just hasn't arrived to the store yet so i would just say with all the steps that i've just given you guys i would just say be very patient honestly in my experience i never had to wait like a year i feel like that's very very extreme but i have heard other essays tell me that before but honestly i feel like the most i've waited was like half a year like six months for an item but like i said if you're on that waiting list you have a good connection with your essay and you have like other essays like of other opportunities something will come by and you definitely will get finally that dream bag so 
With Chanel, you just have to be patient to get those like classic bags because you know, everyone's just trying to get them. And that's pretty much all the tips that I had for you guys as far as trying to score a Chanel bag. Hopefully you guys found this helpful. I don't know, like leave a comment down below if you feel like it's not that hard to get a Chanel bag and you feel like you don't really struggle with that. So like this video is kind of pointless. <laughs> but also just comment down below if like you're one of those people where you feel like you've been on a wait list for so long or like can't get an essay for a Chanel bag that you've been like dreaming of I'm just curious just to see what other people are going through but thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to subscribe give this video a thumbs up and I'll check you guys out in the next video bye <music>